Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you an application called Droop, which makes it easy to bring up your contacts from anywhere on your device. Droop is currently in beta, so you'll need to sign up with your email. Use the same email that you used to log into your Play Store. Once you get the confirmation email to download Droop, you can install it. So I'm going to open it up. And the first time you open it, you'll be taken through a short tutorial. I've skipped through the tutorial, so the last thing you'll need to do is you'll need to turn on Droop. So you tap on that, and this will take you to notification access. So tap on got it and make sure that this is checked and then press OK. Once you have that done, you'll be taken to Droop and that's it. This is what Droop looks like. Droop will exist as four dots on the side of your device. You can access these four dots from anywhere. You can be inside of an application. You can even be on your lock screen. From there, all you do is swipe and here you'll see your contacts. So I'm going to add a contact and there you can see my contact now. You can put all your favorites in here. You can also create a group. If you're trying to get in contact with someone, all you need to do is hold down on the contact and move it over to one of these icons. So let's say you drop it on the phone icon, you'll call them, this will send a text message to them. So let's do the text message one and you'll automatically be taken to the messaging app with their name already here. There are several more for emails. Here's Facebook Messenger if you have that. You can even drag a contact to the map icon. So if you do that, it'll ask you what their address is. So here you can type in an address and then you can press done. And from there you'll be taken to Google Maps or whatever other map application you use. And you'll see how far you are from their location. So if you're trying to get to a friend's house or a family member's house, you can easily just drag the contact over the map icon. If you swipe on the screen, you'll be able to check your recents and these will be your favorites. You can also access all of these applications for yourself. So if you want to go to the messaging application, you can tap on this one. If you want to go to your email, you can tap on that. If you want to go to your calendar, you can just tap on that. If you have a lot of contacts, you can use this to search for a contact. Okay, so now we can check out settings. So here in settings, you can watch a tutorial. You can change which label is presented when you launch Droop. You can set how you want Droop to be showcased in your lock screen. So I'm going to tap small images and I'll show you guys that after I exit the settings. Uh, in here, you can check out a few experimental features. And since this application is in beta, you'll get additional features sometime in the future. So let's get out of here. I'm going to show you guys Droop on the lock screen. So here you can see contact bubbles. So just like on my home screen, you can hold on to this and then drag it over to any of these. Instead of this, you can also have the three dots or you can have bigger contact bubbles. It just depends on what you like. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex. All right. Thanks, guys.